Welcome to the Robot Studio Tutorials. Our innovative mesh modeling feature enables you to seamlessly edit 3D scanned meshes. This allows you to efficiently check reachability and detect collisions when replacing robots in cells, significantly enhancing your workflow efficiency and improving your overall simulation experience. The mesh modeling feature enables the editing, cleaning, and refining of mesh objects to create replacement solutions. Meshes can be generated using our Robot Studio AR Viewer app, easily exported to a cloud project, and subsequently accessed via our Robot Studio desktop application. To import scans, go to the Home tab and click on Import Geometry. Under Cloud Attachments, select your attachment to import. In the Import Scans from Project window, select the necessary checkboxes under Scans and Import Options. With our mesh now imported, the next step is to edit it to make it suitable for creating a new solution. To edit the mesh, right-click the scan in the Layout Browser, select Modify, and then click Edit Mesh. Launching this will activate the Mesh Modeling tab, which includes various tools to edit the mesh. With Mesh Modeling, you can select areas of the mesh using three different selection modes, Sphere, Polygon, and Intersect. Sphere mode is used for selecting surfaces. You can adjust the selection mode and sphere diameter in the Sphere section browser. Once you have selected the surfaces in the mesh, the Mesh Modeling tab provides various tools for expanding, reducing, and clearing selected points. Use the Invert button to select the complement of the current selection. You can copy, cut, or delete the selected point cloud to modify the mesh as needed. Let's utilize the cut function to remove the selected surface area from the mesh. The cut portion will be saved as a separate component, which can be found in the layout section. You can then select and move it within the 3D environment. Now let's look at the Polygon selection. Polygon mode allows you to select or deselect points within a defined volume. Adjust the shape and height by moving the control points. After adjusting the control points for the polygon, click Apply. This action will select all the surface area within the defined polygon. You can then choose to copy, cut, or delete the selected section. Let's use the cut function to remove the selected surface area from the mesh. We can then hide these areas in the layout to achieve a cleaner mesh. Intersect mode allows you to select points that intersect with an object. Let's quickly import two cabinet libraries into our environment and place them according to the scanned layout. Our objective is to select the area in the mesh that intersects with the cabinets. Choose the intersecting object from the drop-down menu. In this case, we will select our cabinet. Adjust the tolerance to refine your selection, then click Apply. This will highlight the part of the mesh that intersects with our cut scan area. You can then proceed to cut, copy, or delete it as needed. Let's proceed with demonstrating the reconstruction features. Begin by selecting an area within the mesh. Next, click on Frame to establish a frame at the center of the selected section. This will allow us to seamlessly import a robot library and accurately position it relative to the created frame. Additionally, you can select an area within the mesh to create a best fit line, 
best fit circle, and best fit planar surface, which can subsequently be used to develop models for simulation. This demonstrates the ease of utilizing the reconstruction functions. A mesh object doesn't contain geometrical information. This means that from a 3D scan, we can't determine its shape or its dimensions, such as length, height, or width. To address this, the reconstruction and create sections of the ribbon are designed to help you reconstruct geometries from a mesh or create curves that snap to the mesh surface. Let's explore the Create section, where you can craft splines, polylines, and targets. Splines are perfect for generating smooth, flowing curves, making them ideal for designs requiring seamless transitions. Let's begin by creating a spline on the frame of this scanned cabinet using the Snap to Points Only option. This feature allows the spline to snap directly to specific points on the mesh. We'll then modify the color of this spline to red. Next, we'll create another spline using the Snap to the Mesh Between Points option. This setting enables the spline to adhere to the surface of the mesh between the defined points. We'll change the color of this spline to green. Now you can clearly observe the difference between the two created splines. Similarly, you can create polylines on the mesh. Polylines consist of straight line segments, making them ideal for precise, angular shapes. Opt for splines when you need elegant curves and choose polylines for sharp, defined edges. You can clearly observe the difference between the two created polylines using different snap modes. Additionally, we can create targets. The Snap to Points Only option will place targets directly on the snapped points, while the Snap to the Mesh Between Points option will generate multiple targets between the points. All created targets can be visualized under the Path and Targets section. Then we have some freehand tools which are available for use. This is how you can utilize the Mesh Modeling feature in Robot Studio Desktop to effectively edit your meshes for your replacement projects. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.